system here yeah I'm gonna see uh, how my Wi-Fi system is gonna act this week here when I'm here on the road since I did get the new Rogers Wi-Fi system and I mailed back the Sprint system yesterday and I went yesterday here to the local uh, Rogers store here in town Steinbach and they luckily did have one of these uh, Wi-Fi hub or rocket hub, whatever they call it, and so we're uh, we're going to test it out. It didn't really seem to perform very well in Steinbach. Uh, it has internet, but the download speed is only like three, four MB per second. Upload speed was like less than a half MB per second, so that kind of sucks a little bit. It's a little slow, but. Uh, Hey, at least it works, right? So, I mean, it doesn't really matter if it's a little bit slower. Uh, I mean, in some areas it might be a little bit faster, right? I mean, we'll see. Maybe into big cities like Winnipeg, we might have full LTE service and maybe there we will have a little bit faster service, right? It's just a matter of testing everything out, right? But uh, Steinbach certainly doesn't seem to be very fast, but the way I look at it, it doesn't matter if it's not super fast, uh, as long as it works, you know. As long as every day I can uh, click on the video and it can start uploading and hey, if it's uh, half MB per second, you know, it can. Uh, it has seven days to upload a video, right? So, uh, I mean, I won't be seven days in, in Canada all day long, but uh, hey, I'll be in Canada at least for four days maybe five days well I don't know for sure I mean I'll be going to uh, Vancouver now and I'll be there in about two and a half days so basically I have two and a half days to uh, to upload this video so uh, by that time I think it should be done uploading I'm just uh, uploading not yesterday's video the day before I'm all cut up up to there and uh, that one was about uh, 2.4 gigabytes of data so uh, 
We're just going to see how long that's going to take to get it uploaded. I mean, I started it when I was there at Penners. I turned on the computer and uh, clicked on it for it to start uploading and uh, we'll see. We'll see when we go through Winnipeg and all that, see if it will have faster internet in Winnipeg. Just looking at that truck that's down there, we'll be going by it right away here soon, but uh, he's parked there on the shoulder. That's never a good thing, seeing a truck on the shoulder, right? It either means he's broke down or uh, maybe he had to take care of something, I guess, but uh, usually that means it broke down, but maybe not today. Maybe not. But as you can see, it's uh, got a few centimeters of fresh snow here last night, so you gotta be careful going around these turns, right? I don't want to be slipping off the road. Oh, well, there we go. Now he's going. So I guess he just has to take care of something. So that's good too. On this road for that way kilometers. he's not broke down. Yeah, if it's going to be like this, we're going to need a lot of windshield washer fluid today. That's for sure. But here we go. We're on Highway 1. So let's put the hammer down and let's see... Uh, and we can head to uh, Madison Ave tonight. Thank you for riding along with us today. It's been a good day today, so far anyways. Had a good night's sleep. We're all rested up, we had a reset done. We got some work done on the truck. We got the new mirror here on this side, it seems to be working really good. We got a grease job done. And yeah, I got my ABS uh, wires worked on. They uh, found one spot that was not very good, so they worked on that. But then when I got home, one sensor came off anyways again. Seems like as soon as I back up or drive through wet conditions, it comes on, right? And, uh, well, when I backed into my driveway, that's when the light came back on again. So I don't know. I, I don't get it. If I still have that issue when I come back next time, then uh, I might just go ahead and tell them just replace the sensor for, for once and just try that and see if that works, you know. But I'm slowly getting tired of these ABS sensors acting up on the, you know. It's the second time already I had the shop in, uh, I mean the truck in for, in the, into the shop for having that looked at, right? But anyways, let's continue on rolling and let's see what we'll be able to show you today. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, we are now in Portage La Prairie. And you might wonder, for some of you that are familiar with this area, on um, why am I in Portage La Prairie? I generally go on Highway 1. This is 1A. I'm in downtown Portage La Prairie. Well, do you know what the reasoning is? I'll tell you what the reason is. The reason is the Rogers guy and Steinbach didn't know what he was doing and he put in a 3G compatible SIM card into my Rocket Hub for the internet so I wasn't getting LTE internet speeds. So, uh, I kind of thought it was super, super slow. So then I called Rogers up and I said, something isn't right here. So he looked it up and he said, yeah, sure enough. He said, hey, your system has been set up for 3G, not 4G. I think you gotta be kidding me. He said, no, no you, you can just go to any, uh, any Rogers dealer, he said, and you can swap that SIM card around and uh, no big deal, you know. So I looked it up, sure enough, very close to where I was at was Portage, so uh, it was a Rogers dealer and luckily I was able to just park right there on the street in front of their business pretty much and uh, so uh, I quickly went inside and the guy knew what kind of card he needed for that and uh, hooked me up with that LTE service and uh, now that seems to work really good. Oh yeah, I see that. Uh, 
Well, video that I clicked on uh, Tanner's yard to upload was only done up to 36%. And now since I got the LT, it's already 45%. Like in the few seconds that I've been talking here now. A few minutes or whatever, you know? So that is, that is what it's supposed to be doing, you know? <laughs> I was kind of worried about it, you know? If this is the fastest speed I was going to get, I was, uh, I was not impressed. But uh, hey. Now we got the different SIM card in there, now we got LTE, so that's good. That's fantastic. Now we will be able to uh, do with it what I wanted to do with it, which was upload videos fast, you know. But anyways, we got it taken care of. So, let's get on down the road and get out of Portage. And, uh... We'll still make some miles today, right? That's the plan anyways. Alrighty guys and gals, we are just about to enter Saskatchewan. That's right. As you can probably start seeing this green building there to the right. That basically Crossing identifies the border. border. Saskatchewan. Here we go, RJ is telling me right now. We are entering Saskatchewan. We haven't been in this area in such a long time that I don't even remember when the last time is that I've been down here. It's been a good while. Yeah, that is for sure, but the sun has finally uh, cleared, uh, you know, cleared all this shit off the road. All this slush and ice that we had up here earlier. Just kind of cleared everything up and now we got nice and sunshine up here today. So well, that's fantastic news. Now we are officially in Saskatchewan. We got 409 kilometers uh, under our belt now. I think we got about, well, GPS says 234 kilometers. And then we'll be in uh, Regina. I think we're going to make a pit stop in Regina. That's right, Trucker Jukebox will probably have a good laugh out of me talking about Regina, but hey, that's what they call it up there, so what can I say? Anyways, we'll continue on cruising along here and uh, we'll see what kind of goodies we'll be able to show you today. So sit back, open up a popcorn maybe. I don't know if it's healthy for you or not, but Maybe it's healthy, maybe it's not. Open up something or whatever. Maybe drink a tea or a coffee and enjoy the video. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we are very close to Regina. Matter of fact, we're only 20 kilometers away, which is less than 15 minutes from Regina. And uh, I heard about this new Flying J that's out here and uh, yeah, there's a brand new Flying J up here. It's about 20 kilometers before uh, before Regina. That's right. That is very, very good news. You know why? Because there hardly is any parking there in Regina. You got that one old uh, Husky truck stop in there, but that's it, you know. That's pretty much it. We got 80 kilometers an hour speed limit up here now. It used to be 110. All the way up there close to Regina. So if you come through here, you better be careful because otherwise you're gonna get yourself a picture taken of yourself. Yeah, there's been a few people that have gotten that too. Because they changed the speed limit up here. For whatever reason, I don't see no reason. I mean nobody really close to the highway or nothing so I don't really see a reasoning why they knocked it down to 80 but uh, they did so we have to follow the law that's right now it looks like there could probably be about I would say anywhere between 80 and 100 trucks that could fit into that uh, new flying J up there which is fantastic news that way it's really close to the Regina area, but not too far where 
you'd have to drive a couple hours before you get to the Regina area, you know? It's only like 15 minutes away. That's not bad at all. And uh, since we don't have a lot of parking out there, it's fantastic. Well, there is a downside to it though. Or I don't know if really a downside to this story, but what I don't like is they didn't build a restaurant into that Flying J. Now that kind of sucks. Really, I mean, where are you supposed to eat? You know, not every truck driver carries food in their truck. Where are you supposed to eat? If you got a truck stop right there in the middle of nowhere, there's no other store in sight, where are you supposed to eat? Well, you're supposed to eat the junk food that they have in there, that's it? Basically just hot dogs and maybe a few sandwiches and pizza, that's all they have in there. To me, that's a lot of junk food. And as you guys know, I told you guys last week that I'm trying to lose weight. I really hate to see that, you know, like because uh, I'm a driver and I eat enough junk food out here on the road already. So it would be very nice if they would have had a decent restaurant where you could get a healthy meal or sit down and at least have a fresh meal, you know. May not be the healthiest in the world, but at least have a fresh meal that's freshly prepared, you know. But no. Just sandwiches and that's it. And uh, I did keep to my routine. I didn't have no pop. What I did is I went and bought me uh, a small bottle of uh, chocolate milk. And I had me one small sandwich. That's it. Oh, down to 60 up here. Eh? All right, I guess we'll slow down to 60. Because I know there's an area up here where they have uh, cameras. And I'm gonna see if I can show them to you later. Heard it on the road, maybe, maybe not. But there's a few spots along this road here where they have cameras. And if you don't slow down to the speed that they tell you, you're gonna get flashed at, that's for sure. You're gonna get yourself a nice little picture sent to the mail. That's right. I don't think it's at this intersection, I think it's at the next intersection where they have a camera, but... Alright, back to 80, so that's good. I just haven't quite decided yet on whereabouts I'm going to be fueling up yet. I uh, don't have too many options out here, but uh, I know there's Moose Jaw, and then uh, I think the next Flying J, or Shell, whatever you want to call it, is up there by Brooks, Alberta. That's the next closest place I can uh, fuel up at. My hope and goal is I can wait till I get up to Brooks, Alberta. That way, uh, pretty much good, you know. Don't probably need to fuel up a little bit on my way back, but that's about it. Before I get back into Alberta is what I'm referring to. Let's say if I go into BC. NBC the fuel is really expensive so I try not to fuel there as much as I as you would want to I guess I try and fuel up more in Alberta that's right but anyways I guess we will just cut the video for now and uh, we'll show you anything that pops up Definitely. Alrighty guys and gals, we've been cruising for a good while now. Just giving her. Yeah, we already went way past Swift Current, Saskatchewan already. Yeah, I was on the phone there with my friend Barry and didn't actually have the chance to videotape that one there, but uh, hey, we are slowly making our way towards Alberta. Shouldn't be too much further anymore. We should be in Alberta here. That's right. Probably only another, well, an hour, hour and a half. We should be already in Madison Hat. So probably about another hour, and we'll be in, uh, we'll be in Alberta. I'm kind of debating on right now if I'm going to be stopping in Madison Hat or if I'm going to try and get down to Brooks, Alberta. 
They got a little flying J down there in Brooks, Alberta. I might just go down there tonight. Fuel up over there and call it a day, but we'll see. We'll see where we end up. I guess I'll make the decision once I hit uh, Madison Hat and see if I uh, end up staying there for the night or not, right? But anyways, we'll continue on cruising though, we got to. If you want to be in Calgary tomorrow for lunch, like we have planned. And then on the other hand, I got to report back to you guys though. This Wi-Fi system, since we uh, got that SIM card or that uh, that chip uh, replaced to an LTE service, has been working really good now for me. I'm very happy with the system now. I wasn't quite happy there this morning with the system when I tested it out, but uh, I can officially say now that I am very happy with it since we got that uh, SIM card changed. That's right. Very, very happy with it. No complaints, but yeah, look at that. The snow is almost gone. Yeah, I have a little few spots here and there, but other than that, it's like the snow is disappearing on us. That's right. Well, at least we got dry roads. Been dry pretty much all day, except for in the morning a little bit, right? But other than that, it's just been a beautiful day out here, actually. Not even that windy. Usually in Saskatchewan, it's crazy windy, and I haven't even noticed it being too windy out here yet. So that is that in itself is amazing. <laughs> if it's not if it's not crazy windy out here in Saskatchewan, you know. But anyways, we starting to get a little bit of hills. Nothing yet, nothing major yet. I meant to say, but we're making it. We're making it. Well, that pickup truck was pulled over there not that far ago. And then I uh, went by him and then he, not long ago he passed me again. Oh, he was stopped on the road again. I don't know. A little bit weird. I don't know what he's doing. I'm going to have to keep an eye on him, see what he's doing. But Anyways, we'll continue on cruising along here and we'll let you know where we end up tonight. Alright guys, we are here in Red Cliff, Alberta. That's right. We've been sitting there for a little bit. We are pretty much at a truck stop here, but uh, I kind of drove into the spot over here because uh, it's a little bit on an angle up like that. And I hate to be backed in and sleeping like this, you know. I feel like I'm rolling out of the bed. Uh, I can't handle that very well, so. But anyways, we are done for today. Yep. I went and finished editing yesterday's video. It's already all uploaded and it's because of this system right here on oh, my Rogers Wi-Fi system so it has really good internet speeds up here I just tested it and it was up to like when I tested it on the computer it was up to 59 MB per second upload speeds and 50 no not uh, 50 48 MB per second down uh, no it was 58 MB per second download speed and 48 uh, upload speeds or something like that 59 up 48 down no I'm saying that wrong again 59 down 48 upload anyways I'm tired I guess not the right time to talk about it <laughs> hey, anyways this is pretty much a new truck stop that they got here I'm at the uh, Petro pass here but anyways I'm tired so I guess I'm just gonna go to bed here hope you enjoyed today's vlog today's vlog I can't even talk right <laughs> we have a special video coming up tomorrow so stick around for that don't miss it it's gonna be very good very interesting video coming up so we'll see you then have a good night everybody Catch you tomorrow right here on Trucker Rudy. It's time to get going, it's time to move on. Put this behind me, that day is gonna come. I'm breaking the walls down.